wants to climb on board my submarine. A submarine? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, me, 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 me. Oh. I want to. OK, Jakey, climb aboard. Oh. We're going to dive right down to the bottom of the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes, well, Fizz and I are playing a different game. Are you? Yes, we are. We're always playing games together. And it's a better game than anything you and Jakey could play. Well, well hold on oh. tight, Jake. We're going deep down in our submarine. Oh. Bloop, bloop. Oh. OK, Fizz, let's go somewhere else and play. Oh, are you sure you don't want to play submarine? No! You and I are going to play our own game, like we always do, cos you're my best friend, and that's what best friends do. OK. I like playing at sleeping <laughs> on my beanbag. Right! You're the princess. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. But people don't know that's what you are. Oh. Because mm. you wear this horrible cloak. Uh, uh, oh, 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 can't I play the queen? The queen? Oh, yes, it's just, well, I always play the princess and never... I always play the queen. Now, where's my crown? Mm. Here. Oh, thanks, Fizz. No, you have to play the princess because, um, because... Yes? Well, because you play the part really well. And you are my best friend, aren't you? Oh, yes. Well, that's what best friends do. They play the parts that I don't want to play. Oh, right. Now, I need a throne to sit on, because that's what queens do. Oh, you could use this chair. Oh, good idea, Fizz. Mm, yes. If you bring it over here okay. and... Mm. Ow! Oh, 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 sorry, Bella. Oh, it was an accident. Oh, are you all right? Oh, 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 I'm really sorry. Bella? Hey, hey, what's going on? What's happened? Oh, Fizz hurt my foot. Oh, oh, I said I was sorry. And anyway, it wasn't me, it was the chair. Oh. And it was an accident. Oh, OK, OK, OK. Can you wriggle your foot? Yes. Oh. Sorry. Ow! Oh, but it hurts. Oh, oh Bella. Oh, my dad dropped a box on his foot once, oh, and his toe went all blue and yucky. Yeah. Anyway, guess what? Jake and I have found something brilliant in the garden! Run! Hey, let's have a look! Oh, well, I hope Bella knows it was an accident. Oh. Huh. Look at all the colours, look. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wonder if there are any more. Yeah. Oh, come on, Diddles, let's look. <laughs> OK. I wonder how it got here. Oh. Hey, uh, do you want the feather, Bella? Well, don't you? Nah. Oh, that's really kind of you, Milo. Well, uh, you did lend me a biscuit yesterday. Well, only because I didn't like them. Oh. Those currants in them look like dead flies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I call them dead fly biscuits too. Do you? <laughs> <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> hey, 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 what? I've got a joke. <gasps> shh, shh, shh. It's a bit rude. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. No, 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 I won't. I won't. Still, I better whisper it. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Nothing. No. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. It was a secret, really, Fizz. Oh, right. So, what was so special that you found in the garden? Oh, oh, oh I found a feather, oh. and I've given it to Bella. It's oh. pretty, isn't it, Fizz? Oh, yes. Well, I found a feather in the park once. I can use it in one of my dressing-up outfits. Thanks, mm. Milo. That's oh. really kind of you. That's all right. Oh, my mum's taking me to the park at the weekend. <gasps> the one by the shops. Oh, yeah. I might go there too. Yeah, oh, yeah. I can't. I'm oh, sorry. No, no, We're going away to stay. There's, there's a new climbing frame there, and it's all got a wriggly, curvy bits of pipe, and oh. you can hang upside down from it like a bat, and it's brilliant. Oh, can't you come, Fizz? Huh? Can't you ask your mum and dad to take you? No, it's my nana's birthday, and she lives quite a long way away. Oh, Actually, well, I'll play with you there, Milo. If my mum will take me. Oh right. <laughs> got any more dead fly biscuits? Yeah, <laughs> let's get them from a lunch box. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a good joke, Milo. Biscuits. Was it really like that? Then? <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> You know something, Doodles? No. Nope. I think my best friend's just found herself a new best friend. Oh. <sighs> oh, yes, it certainly is a very fine-looking <laughs> feather you've got there, Bella. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I found it, and I gave it to Bella. Yeah, mm. Oh, that's very kind of you, Milo. Oh, yeah. oh, I couldn't find a feather in the garden, Max. Oh, don't worry, I'll help you find one later, mate. I'm a good feather finder. <laughs> Oh, Fizz, there you are. Where have you been? 
Just outside. Oh, only normally if I want to find you, I look around and see where Bella <laughs> is and, well, there you are too. Not anymore. Oh, oh dear. Well, rightly, holy. Uh, well, you're here now, so let's make some paper boys and girls, eh? Yeah. My cousin Charlie's a paper boy. Oh, oh, he's not really made of paper, is he, Janky? Well, no, but... Well, because he... if he delivered newspapers and stuff, well, he'd just blow away in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> what? I know what you meant, Jake, and Milo's just being silly. <laughs> yes. Now then, I have in my hand a piece of paper. Now, you fold up the paper like this, oh. and then you take a pen and draw a boy or a girl with the hands and the feet disappearing off the edges of the paper. Oh. Well, in fact, you only draw half the boy or the girl like this. Oh, hard. Yes, I know, which is why I've done the drawings on the paper for you, Jake. Oh. Now, all you have to do is cut them out. All right. Here we go. I know a joke. Oh, do you, Fizz? Well, yes. What do you get if you put a kangaroo on a trampoline? Oh, oh, oh I don't know. What do you get if you put a kangaroo on a trampoline? <laughs> a woolly jumper. Oh. <laughs> a woolly jumper. Oh. Get it? No. Yeah. Um, I, I think you mean a sheep on a trampoline, Fizz. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Sheep on a trampoline. Yes, that's right. Uh, oh. Well, look, look, once you've uh, cut them out, uh, you'll find that when you open it out like this, you haven't just got one person. Oh, no, no, no! You've got lots and lots of people. <laughs> hey, all friends together and holding oh, hands. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! Hey. Uh, all boys together! Yeah, and all girls together! <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, she's lost her friends. Right, OK, you lot, settle yourselves down now. Well, I'm going to sit on this beanbag. It's the best! Is it? Oh, oh can I squeeze on it too? Oh, yeah, yeah if you want. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on, oh, Fizz. Oh, yeah. no more room. Oh, oh. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll sit here with Jake. Okay. Now then, we've just made some paper friends. Time for a story about real friends. Mm. Now then, it's called Friends. <laughs> Sam's friend Alice came to play on the farm. They were in the garden when they heard loud clucking coming from the hen house. Oh, listen, said Sam, that means a hen has laid an egg. An egg, said Alice. Let's go and find it. Oh, how lovely to live on a farm. Sam and Alice ran to the hen house. Look, said Alice, there's an egg. Oh, I can put it in my hat, said Sam. I can put your hat in my bucket, said Alice, and put the bucket in the wheelbarrow. Then we can take it home, said Sam. Oh, that's good. They're helping each other. That's right, Jake. That's nice. The geese stood across the path. Oh, I'm afraid of geese, said Alice. Oh, come on, said Sam. We can go the long way round. Oh, that's a friendly thing to do. Help your friend if they're a little bit scared. Yes. yes. Alice pushed the wheelbarrow through the trees. Oh, it's my turn now, said Sam, and he pulled it through the long grass and thistles. And together, they lifted it over a ditch. Ah, oh, they must be good friends, because they do everything together. Yes. Sam and Alice went into the barn. They were followed by Glenn, the old farm dog. Glenn. Is the egg all right? asked Alice. Sam and Alice looked in the hat. The egg was safe and smooth without a crack. Mm. Look what we found, said Alice, holding out the egg to Glenn. No, cried Sam. He'll eat it. Sam reached out to take the egg. Alice held it tight. It's mine, said Sam. It's not, said Alice. I found it. They're my hens, said Sam, pushing Alice. Oh, no, they're not being very friendly now. Oh, smash went the egg as it fell on the ground. And Glenn started to eat it. Oh, no. I don't like you anymore, said Alice. She picked up her bucket and went out of the barn. Sam put on his empty hat. He did like Alice and, well, he didn't like Alice and he felt that he was going to cry. Oh. Yes, it's very sad when your friend doesn't like you anymore. Yes, it is. Just then, loud clucking came from the hen house again. Sam ran out of the barn. Another egg, he <gasps> cried. Sam and Alice looked at each other. We can go and find it, said Sam. Yes, let's, said Alice, and smiled. Oh, I think they're friends again now. Yeah. Sam put the egg in his hat. He gave the hat to Alice, who put it in her bucket. They tiptoed past the geese, and then tiptoed past Glen, and walked back to the house. Mm -hmm. oh, what have you two been doing? asked Mum. Finding eggs, said Sam. Together, said Alice. Mm -hmm. no. I'm glad they made up at the end. Yeah. Friends are very important. You have to look after them, you know. Mm.
It's made me think about fizz. It's made me feel a bit sad. It's made me want to play submarines again! Oh, Milo! Oh, sorry, Bella. Come on, Jakey! <laughs> Captain Milo's going to take you down to the bottom of the deep blue sea in a submarine! Aye, aye. <laughs> a fizz? Um, I want to say something to you. Come over here. Going down in my submarine! <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah, watch out for any elephants as we dive down, Jakey. Oh, what do you mean? You don't get any punts under the sea. You might do if they're wearing their trunks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Are you upset with me, Fizz? No. But you're upset with me, aren't you, Bella? No. You're my best friend. But I thought Milo was your best friend now. Milo! Yuck! <laughs> Oh, he's a friend. Well, see, I like playing games with him sometimes, and even Jakey. Yes, but it's more fun when you play games with your friends. You couldn't really play catch on your own. No, or um, ring a ring of roses. And even though Milo gave me that feather, he's still not my best friend. Oh, good. Because you are, Fizz. Oh, only after I'd hurt your foot by accident. Oh, my foot? Oh, uh, well, it's getting a bit better. And after I saw you two laughing together... <laughs> well, Milo is funny. He tells good jokes. But I saw you whispering and giggling and telling secrets like we do. Oh, he wasn't telling me a secret. He was telling me something rude. That's why he whispered. Oh. oh, you're my bestest friend ever, Fizz. Mm. Oh, and I'll tell you what. Just because you're my best friend, I'm going to let you play the Queen next time we do dressing up. Oh, thanks, Bella. Only, I'll oh. tell you what. Nobody knows she's a Queen, so she has to wear this dirty old cloak. Oh. But she does have a beautiful daughter who wears the sparkliest cloak in the world. And she lives in a beautiful <sighs> castle with lots of... Thanks, Bella. <laughs>